Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And a good minute ago, I did a video talking about what it means to be remarkable. What does that look like? But a couple of you guys wanted to see some examples and wanted me to go deeper into that topic. So today we got a video on Gibson Hazard and what it means to be remarkable. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, who in the world is Gibson Hazard? Well, for starters, he's actually not a rapper or a singer like a lot of times we talk about on this channel. Gibson Hazard started off as a photographer, it seems to be, and now he's an editor. He does these amazing videos, best promo videos I've ever seen personally. <laughs> This guy's videos are the epitome of remarkable. You know how I found out about Gibson Hazard? I did my little pump video not too long ago, and I was looking for some video clips just to throw in the, the, um, the you know, in my video. And when I did that, I wasn't really trying to watch anything, but when I turned that clip on, on his in Lil Pump's Instagram page, I'm up there watching and I'm like, who the fuck did this video? This shit crazy. Behold, I see the name Gibson Hazard, and I go and check out the rest of the stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is what this guy does. And that's what remarkable content does. You either watch it, you share it, like I ended up doing in this video. You start to find out more about who is behind it because it takes you out of your regular pattern of just sitting there taking in all this other content. Now, I could talk about Gibson Hazard stuff for days, but since his craft is so visual based, I'm just gonna put a link to his Instagram and YouTube page below in the description, top comments, all that stuff, so you can just go check it out yourself, and then, hey, come back and comment, let me know what you think. And for now, I'll just say this. This guy is definitely creating his own lane. He's only like 21 years old, and his style is perfect for the trap dark style that's really popular right now. When it comes to being remarkable, it's really that idea of pushing past the regular level of cool videos, dope videos, and bringing something more innovative into that space. And then we're talking about promo videos. Promo videos have kind of had a lag where they're more just highlights. Gibson Hazard more so takes you on a journey in his promo videos, which is a completely different framework of how you approach the videos. And if you do remarkable work consistently, people will start reaching out to you. Now, just to make it clear on the concept of remarkable and how you measure it and expand how you guys think about it, I'm gonna throw in some other examples because Gibson Hazard is a great 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 example another good example is the i'm not racist video by joiner lucas now i'm not gonna go deep into it i feel like it's kind of obvious and straightforward but i'm going to put that link into the top top comments for those of you who haven't heard of it somehow now what i will say about that video is it was remarkable all the way down to the standpoint of having a white guy as the thumbnail looking straight at you with the title saying i'm not racist now, some other examples that many of you guys might not be thinking of is Here It Goes Again by OK Go. So what's perfect to note about this video is it's completely different than the first two videos. Completely different energy, completely different genre, but the thread is all three of them are remarkable. Now, if you think about Gibson Hazard's video, it's complex and intricate as far as all the transitions and things like that. And if you look at Jordan Lucas's video, it's pretty simple, but it uses this controversial approach to bring this energy around it. And this video is just super simple. It's some guys dancing on a treadmill, except it was done in one take and people hadn't really seen treadmill choreography at that time, especially on a large scale. And that's what made it interesting that's what made it remarkable 
Standing out and being remarkable comes from many different approaches. It's not all about being extra creative from the standpoint of giving you all these colors and all these intricacies. All that complex stuff, it's cool, but it doesn't mean it's going to be remarkable. What people call high quality does not mean it's remarkable. A lot of times there's these two categories, right? You have trash that goes viral and you have amazing stuff that goes viral. And it's the top of the top of each. The best trash and the best of the best when it comes to the quality. When those things go viral, you're talking about things like Gibson Hazards video, right? That's high quality, but it has that extra on top of it. Then you have trash. And a perfect example of the quote unquote trash, or a lot of people consider it trash, is Rebecca Black's It's Friday. And Friday. So that song right there is a perfect example because a lot of times people say, man, it seems like all this bad stuff goes viral. Well, sometimes stuff is so bad that it's worth talking about. That's still remarkable. Remarkable isn't about good or bad. Remarkable is about being worth remarking about. And it doesn't matter if it's trash or it's quality because we see so many good videos these days. There was a time when the first cartoon movie went viral and that was remarkable just because it was a cartoon movie. There was a time when the first color movies, first color televisions went viral because they were the first of what they were. But we have all of this high technology. We have everything's accessible to everybody for the most part. So you really have to think through how can you do something that's different and going to make people talk? Other than that, I really didn't want to talk too much in this video because you really just have to see these examples and seeing the variation in different examples will kind of help you get an idea of what Remarkable is, looks and feels like. Want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Gibson has this video. Obviously, Jordan Lucas' I'm Not Racist has been a lot talked about that, but even the OK video and, and of course, Rebecca Black's It's Friday. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.